In this video, I'll be going through Work Together Problem 9-1 from page 269 of your Century 21 Accounting Textbook, Advanced 11E, which is the edition and by Gilbertson and Lehman. So credit to them for this text. We are journalizing and adjusting and reversing entries for unearned and accrued revenue. Problem says Winston Incorporated is preparing its December 31st financial statements for the current year. On December 1st, the company received a $4,200 rent payment from Youngston Company. The payment is the $1,400 per month rent for December of the current year through February of the next year. Winston records rent receipts initially as revenue. General journal pages are provided in the working papers, which is here. Your instructor, it's me, will guide you through the following example. Winston Incorporated has two notes receivable outstanding on December 31st of the current year. We need to journalize the adjusting entries for unearned rent and accrued interest income. And that's number one on page 13 of the general journal. So we'll do that in this top part. The first thing we probably want to do is enter our December 31st entry for the rental income and put that into unearned rent. So we have December 31st. Our account title is rent income. Remember that's a credit balance account. So we are reducing it by debiting it here and then putting it in unearned rent because we have not yet earned two months. We've earned the December portion, right? But we haven't earned January and the February portions at $1,400 a month. Two months of that would be $2,800. And this would probably not have a document number. We don't, because this is an adjusting entry. And as usual, I forgot to put that here. So we'll cut it and paste it down one. I should remember to put that title there. Okay, and then our next one is going to be also on December 31st. We've got to do our interest receivable, right? Because there's interest associated with this note. So we'll have interest receivable and interest income will be the credit. But we have to figure out how much that is. So again, we have these two notes, right? Note number 22 and 23. The principal on the top one is 6,000. And on the other one is 5,000. We have an interest rate of 8% on the first. Oh. And an interest rate of 9% on the other. Now the fraction of the year, we had a start date of November the 22nd. So we would have 31 days in December plus uh, 30 minus 22 would be 8. So 8 days in November plus 31 days in December would be 39 days. 39 out of 365 in a year. Okay, so now this other one, December the 8th. So... December 31st minus December 8th would be 23 days. And if remember, if you didn't know how to do the math, you could do 12, 31, 23, minus 12, 8, 23. And you could just ask it to subtract the two. And you would come up with the 23 days, all right? Excel will, or Google Sheets will do that for you. So we have equals 23 out of 365. And now we're just going to multiply across. And if we add these together, we get 79.64 and change. The book has 79.65. I would accept either one. So 79.64.
is the amount of interest that we need to accrue. So we have done the first part, which was journalize unearned rent and accrued interest income. And now we need to journalize the reversing entry for unearned rent and accrued interest income on page 14 of the general journal. So January 1st, we've already done our financial statements now and we need to undo these accruals. So exactly backwards, we'll give unearned rent the debit and we'll give rent income the credit and we'll give interest income the debit and interest receivable the credit this time. Same amounts. So we can just copy and paste those down there. Uh, the one thing that I never seem to do is put the title up, which we should, so we'll just paste it down. Reversing entries. Okay. So we have completed our adjusting and reversing entries for both the rent and the rent revenue and interest, okay? That is it for Work Together 9-1. You can do that on your own, on your own.